Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I mentioned in my last video that I was going to do a what's in my makeup bag for you guys. This is my Louis Vuitton Nice Mini. It's not the smallest one. It's the one above the smallest one. I think they have one smaller than this. But if you guys remember, I got this over a year ago and I started out wearing it as just like a handbag and then I realized that that was not gonna work for me just because of the opening like every time I would need to go in the bag for something my wallet keys whatever the case the whole entire like bag would just fall open and so things would just like fly everywhere so while I think that it's a great <laughs> little like multifunctional piece and I did wear this as a bag for a very long time it is now my dedicated makeup bag. So literally everything inside of this bag is like everything that I wear as far as makeup. Now, let me preface this video by saying I am not a makeup girl like that. So if you're here to see like some elaborate makeup collection, this ain't it, this is just for the like natural no makeup makeup girls uh you know minimal makeup that's that's all i can give you over here i can't give you any techniques any tips any tricks none of that no tutorials or anything like that this is as basic as it gets when it comes to makeup and i'm okay with that i just prefer a minimal natural makeup look on a day-to-day and so while some people have like makeup drawers and little, you know, cutesy stands and vanities with like tons of makeup and, you know, eye palettes, this is it. This is all my makeup in this bag. Some people use this for travel. I do use it for travel as well, but this literally sits on my sink and I have it open. And this is how I put on my makeup when I do my makeup from this bag. So everything in here is part of my makeup routine. I don't have a, a overflow of makeup anywhere. I don't have a makeup drawer or a makeup station or vanity or anything like that. This is it. So now that we got that out of the way, I want to go ahead and show you guys what's inside and how I keep it sort of organized but not really but it is packed <laughs> like it is packed 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 but everything that i have is in here and so let's get into the makeup bag so let me get it a little closer for you guys i'm gonna go ahead and unzip it now as soon as you open it as you can see i have my little makeup sponge holder i shared this with you guys in my last video that is just right on top these two items i have to just kind of like lay in there like that because they're too tall to keep this closed now for the sake of this video i did just throw them in there like that but when this is out on my sink on a day to day i basically just will stick oops I will stick the YSL mascara in there like that and then I'll just stick the little brow thingy like that. And so it'll just sit on my sink like this and I just work from it this way. Now I have my sunscreens in here, I have my sprays, my everything is in this bag. So you know again if you are someone that is like a diehard makeup person you are probably looking at me like girl how like how but it just works for me like as you can see i barely look like i have on any makeup and i actually like that like i don't like to look like i have makeup on that's like kind of my whole point and because i don't really have like anything that i'm trying to cover up i just choose to keep it very light also it's extremely hot outside so that's another reason why i've been keeping my makeup to a minimum but i literally have the same exact routine i change up my products a little bit but the routine is the same 
So, oh, by the way, thank you guys so much for commenting on my little half up, half down style. Uh, yeah, it's just too hot to have all my hair on my face right now. And so I just been doing it like this instead of just wearing like a full on ponytail. And this has been working. So I like it and I'm glad you guys like it too. So thank you for complimenting. So I'm going to kind of like point the camera down a little bit for you guys so you can see. Cause we gonna do like just a, this is um, going to be a realistic what's in my makeup bag video. All right, so like I said, I have my beauty blender holder. Um, it is dirty because I just used it, but I shared this with you guys in my last video. Really been enjoying this, and so that's in there, and it fits really nicely. I like that it's just like nice and flexible. It's like a silicone, so it just fits in there really, really good. Okay, um, I have my Versed Glow Drops, and I've been using this with my moisturizer on the days that I don't wear a tinted moisturizer. This just gives you just a nice little glow, so I've really been enjoying this, and literally you just need like a couple little drops. You can either put it in your sunscreen or your moisturizer, and it just gives you a nice little glow. So I got that in there um my little benefit brow what is this called precisely my brow pencil love that um i have all of my concealers and i'm not doing this in any order y'all i'm just gonna pull stuff out um i do have a new one that i am using the dark medium 1.5 but i usually do the dark medium too and it's really not that big of a difference but yeah those are my concealers and i only use nars the tinted moisturizer that i'm loving right now is the fenty beauty this is the eavesdrop and i am in the shade 18 i love 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 this so much like i used to use the nars tinted moisturizer but now I use this because it's just so good. So I got that in there. Right, let's move on to some little powders here. So this is my newest one. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sun Kiss Glow Bronzer. This is in the shade uh, 310. And this is the cream bronzer. Heard so many, so many good things about. I am actually wearing it today I just put a little bit on like along my hairline and here but so far I like it and so here's what it looks like so that's what I'm wearing today and I've really been enjoying this also have my little NARS blush palette I got this a while ago and it is still going strong um, if you're someone like me and you don't <laughs> wear a lot of makeup get you a little cheek palette like this it doesn't have to be nars but get you something with just you know various different shades so that you can have some variety but i just don't feel the need to have like an overflow of blushes like i love blush but this is all i need and it travels so nicely so got that then this is my old nars bronzer in laguna which i've hit this, this is done. I actually need to throw this away because it's done. So I'm going to throw this out. So this is going to be a little clean out too. And then this is my Gucci bronzer that I recently got and I love. And it just looks like this. And this is in the shade number four. I've gotten some questions about that. I love this so much. I well, I also have my Gucci lip balm in here. This was in my purse, but I took it out because it's hot now and I don't want it to like melt in my bag. And sometimes my bag is in my car for long periods of time. So here it is. And this is in the shade No More Orchids. So I got that in there. And then my newest one, which I took out to put on, is the Chanel Balm in 
natural charm and I am just wearing this with uh, orgasm NARS orgasm just a little bit on top but this is also been in here because I don't want it to melt and I recently got that and I really like it and then this is the Fenty lip scrub that I've been loving I put this on like every day <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to use it every day but I just love it I love the fact that it's on a stick and it's just so nice so yeah I keep this in my bag as well I also have one of my um, lip glows by Dior this is in the rosewood and so I just have that in there my other one is in my purse and I just have the NARS lip mask in here I usually will just put this on right before I do my makeup just to you know keep my lips moisturized so that's in there um, I do have a couple blushes I think these are both orgasm like I love orgasm blush uh, so this one is the air matte blush that I got a while ago and I don't even I need to use this more but I haven't used this one in a while so that's in there and then this is just like a regular little like I think this was this came in like a little set that I got it's just a regular one um but yeah those are in there I have a NARS lipstick in here and to lead looks like the name looks like that it's like a really nice fall color and I think that's what it is to lead my YSL mascara which I love but it's just so big this thing is massive I also have a Dior show mascara in here which I don't really use this one that much I got it during the Nordstrom mascara sale and it's okay the wand actually looks a lot like the wand on the YSL let's just see as you can see they, they have like these fat wands so I don't know this didn't work out for me but I love the YSL so this is in there and I also have some more brow stuff so this is the 24-hour brow setter and this is the benefit brow tint the little thing rubbed off but that's what it looks like so I got those two in there and I'm actually wearing a little brow setter today and I like it. I have my Laura Mercier setting powder. This is the only setting powder setting powder that I use and I love it. Yes, yeah, the translucent powder. Let me know if you guys have any recommendations for other powders that you think I might like. Um, but I really, really enjoy this one. This is the only one that I've that I use. I have um, my Gucci mascara in here, which I really, really like. Also, I like to put this on my bottom lash because the, the wand is so thin. You can really, really, really get your bottom lash. But yeah, so far, I'm really, really enjoying this. This is a newer product, but um, I like it a lot. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless, Flawless Setting. Oh. This is a Chanel mascara, which is old. I actually need to throw this out. I think it's dried out. If you guys know, if you've been following me here for a while, this was the only mascara that I would wear, like ever. And I started trying other ones and I have not looked back. And so as much as I love the Chanel, yeah i don't know if i'll be repurchasing this maybe i will i don't know but this and the ysl and the uh idol by lancome which i don't know why i don't have one in here i should um that one has really really won me over so so yeah i'm gonna toss this because it's done and i have the um make it matte sunscreen by black girl sunscreen uh in spf 45 i like this it's okay the texture is just really weird um and it has like a weird little like scent to it i don't know it's but yeah it's it doesn't have like a strong scent but the texture is just i don't know so I don't reach for this a lot, but because it's summertime, 
I do have it in there just because it is a matte sunscreen and I have to wear sunscreen. Like everyone should be wearing sunscreen um, all year round, but especially in the summertime. Also have another sunscreen in here. This is the uh, small glow screen in SPF 40. I actually have this in the larger size too, but I keep that one in my bathroom where all my skincare stuff is. And then I just have this one in my bag just because it fits in here much nicer. So I just have that right there. And I have some extra contact lenses because I wear contacts, not colored contacts, they're just clear. Um, I have my Tweezer Man Tweezer. Just have that there. Some Q-tips for when I just need to like touch up a little bit. And I think I have some other stuff in here. Oh, and some Band-Aids because I'm a mom and there are Band-Aids in all my bags. And then I just have my uh, Louis Vuitton fragrance in here. This is the travel size. This was gifted to me by PK. And so I just keep that in here for those days that I just wanna, you know, spritz this on when I'm doing my makeup and I'm not with my other fragrances. Um, I just like to keep this in here. Yeah, and then in the mop at the bottom, I just keep the dust bag just to help keep it a little bit clean. And then this, I was looking for this actually. This is a little clear little thingy for my bra straps. So it helps keep my bra, like I'm wearing a racer back. You just clip it to your bra. So, like so yeah, dust bag at the bottom. And as you can see, it's really clean, um, surprisingly, um, considering I keep all of my makeup in here, but it's really, really clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff back in really quick. All right, so that is everything that is inside of my makeup bag. I actually thought about getting one of those like organizers, but I feel like that would limit the space that I have. And I like being able to kind of like maximize the space of this bag. And so, yeah, I won't be doing an organizer. And as you can see, I mean, it pretty much it's organized everything is in there um it's not in any like particular order but i know where everything is and so that's all that really matters but yeah so yeah guys that is everything that is in my makeup bag i just wanted to share with you all for those who had asked like how i organize this and um, a few people had asked me if i still had this yes i do i'm just not using it as a handbag anymore. I'm using it to house all of my makeup and I love that for me. Also, let me know down below any makeup products that you guys think I might like. Um, let me know some of your makeup favorites and yeah. I thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.